Jesus's story is our story. His story is our story. Now, we couldn't see our story as it actually was. Yeah. So Jesus comes, he enters into our story, and our story can be plainly seen in him so that we could gain understanding about our story. And instead of reasoning about our story from the mind of the serpent or his interpretation of our life, we could clearly see our story in Jesus and then reason from that. So what I'm saying is, we can clearly see in Jesus' story a word coming to him and telling him he's not the son. He lacks glory. He lacks honor. He's not the God kind. God isn't with him. God has abandoned him. We can clearly see that in his story, and we can clearly see that's a lie. But in our own story, we couldn't see that the word of the serpent that came against us was a lie. We couldn't see that that wasn't true about us. Yeah. I couldn't see that the word that I was offensive because of my intensity was a lie. I couldn't see it. I adopted it as the truth. But I can see clearly in Jesus' story that when the serpent's word came to him, it was a lie. And when I can see that his story is the revelation of my story, yeah. I begin to reason from his story to interpret my own story. Right. And so if it was a lie in his story, that means it was a lie in my story. I can look at the word of the serpent against Jesus that says, you're the forsaken of God. God has turned his back on you. God has abandoned you. And I can see in his story that that is a lie. Right. And so now it, I can see, well, his story is my story. So now I can see that the idea that God had ever forsaken me or abandoned me is also a lie. And so now I use story. I use what was revealed in him as the place that I reason from about my own life. As I use what happened in him, I use what was revealed in him to interpret my life. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, I can see clearly and see easily. Right? Yeah. The problem is, oh, yeah. we haven't identified with Jesus like we were designed to. He entered into our story. In fact, that stuff couldn't have happened to him unless he came as a man. Because those are all the things that happened to Adam. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't, we just look at it as like, oh, that's Jesus' story. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. <laughs> all the while, never seeing how that's the revelation of our own story. Right. So that we could interpret our story through him and find all the crooked places and all the lies in our hearts and our heads being ironed out. Mm -hmm. You know, Isaiah said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Now, that word wait doesn't mean, well, I'll sit here and wait till 830 and then uh, Cindy will, will come. That word wait means to intertwine oneself with another. They who intertwine themselves with the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall find their strength being renewed. So to the degree I can identify with Jesus. And I can start seeing my own life in his life. And I can start seeing his life as the interpretation of what has gone down in my own life. I find I'm being intertwined. And I find that my strength is being renewed. Because it's bringing about in my heart the understanding and the conviction that the word in the world about my life is a lie. And it's always been a lie. So what's happening in my heart is I'm dying to the lie in the world about my life, just like Jesus did. And I find in my heart it's being raised up to the truth yeah. about my life, just like Jesus was raised up unto the truth about his life by the Father. Mm -hmm. All that can't go down unless I could start looking into his life and seeing my own life there, all of it. And that's all of us. Yeah. Every single human being has had the word of the serpent come against their life in this world. And we've all taken it into our hearts like it was the truth. Right. But we didn't know. Right. It made sense. It was true. Like I said, I looked at all the other people and I saw the way they went about mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. And I saw the way I went about myself. And I, and I could clearly see that there was a difference. <laughs> do, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. 
But because I didn't know that that difference wasn't the definition of who I was, I immediately took on the lie that that was a defining marker of me and a defining marker that I wasn't as I ought to be. Sure. But now I can find my story in Jesus's <laughs> life and I can see wow. how the, the serpent went to Jesus. And then I can even see myself at all the different points now where the serpent tried to come to me and tell me the same thing. And I find in identifying with Jesus's life so much, it's no longer I who am living, but it's Christ, the truth that was revealed in his life about my life that's now living in me, interpreting everything in my life. And the way that it's interpreting it is renewing my strength. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You bet. Do you guys follow that? Yeah.